Hey, friend, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, always bet on brown. Electron Brown is an 8.1% double brown ale from Old Nation Brewing in Williamston, Michigan. Okay, what's going on here? A double brown ale from Old Nation? Yeah, you heard that right. This is not a New England style IPA. And guess what? Old Nation has a lot of beers out there that aren't New England's. In the world of dark beer, I feel like browns get a really bad rap. They're not as heavy as stouts. They're not as toasty as porters. But I'm always looking for a good brown, and this is a double brown to boot. I think browns really helped introduce me personally into the world of stouts. That whole world was super foreign to me but browns were the gateway. So Electron Brown was originally released last year, and I believe it was taproom only. I never saw it hit the shelves. So I was really excited that this year it was gonna hit statewide distribution because I think it's really cool that Old Nation can increase its public profile and show off that Travis and company can do something more than just those awesome New England style IPAs. Now, I'm not sure if the public at large is really ready for the same thing, but regardless of that, I, I really wanna try this finally. Fun fact, Shaquille O'Neal made over 11,000 baskets in his career, and only one of them was a three-pointer. So let's get a, take a look at this label here. It kind of follows the whole Old Nation canning or label style. I, I could look at this, you know, and know, not necessarily know, but not be confused, you know, for thinking that this is a, an Old Nation can or an Old Nation beer. Across the top, it says Electron Brown Espresso Bean Double Brown Ale, 8.1% alcohol by volume, IBU 25, 16 fluid ounces. And then it says Old Nation Proudly Brewed and Bottled in Williamston, Michigan, and their website, oldnation.com. So the, lo the, the label itself is is this guy, I can't tell, he kind of reminds me of like, a, I don't know, it kind of, <laughs> he kind of reminds me of like an engineer or maybe uh, M. Bison from Street Fighter or something. Uh, he has, there's a bunch of espresso, espresso beans across the back behind him and it kind of has this flame going up behind him. The wrench here kind of makes me think of like an engineer, or an auto worker or something. I'm sure this has some some glaring you know significance that I can't really figure out and I think I think I actually remember last year them saying something on their Facebook page when they released this about what this was representing and it says uh, electron or something packaged on 11718 which was as of this recording just about a week and a half ago so I'm going to grab my regular old pint glass here and I am ready to crack this open because again, I, I just kind of really been looking forward to trying this. When I saw that they put this out last year and it wasn't a New England style IPA, I was really kind of excited because I, I would, I, I've had stuff in their tap room that's not New England style IPA and it's all been really good. So I'm just really kind of looking forward to trying it here at home because I've never had a brown from Old Nation. So let's go ahead and get a smell out of the can here. Get it, wow. Getting a lot of coffee bean kind of scent. A sweet... Uh, kind of coffee scent as well, but a lot of coffee scent. I mean, it's almost overwhelmingly coffee. And pouring this, it's coming out brown out of the can here, a little kind of light on the brown. And it's not, as you can tell, it's not uh, super, super black. It is definitely dark, but it is also definitely brown. So it's got a nice kind of coffee, khaki colored head, uh, really nice and small bubbles. I can smell just kind of pouring that out. I'm getting a big whiff of coffee right out of the glass here and holding it up to the light. I can just see some brown tinging around the bottom, but it doesn't look as black or as dark as a stout normally would. It has like a brown hue to it. So that kind of, uh, that's, that's, you know, that's, that's kind of the characteristic of a brown, at least visually looking at it. They all pretty much look like this, a little lighter around the edges. And uh, let's get a better nose here, which I don't know why I need to do this because all I smell was coffee and Wow, yeah, a lot of coffee, kind of getting like a chocolatey kind of scent in there as well. It just, it smells absolutely delicious. And if it tastes anything like this, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be really happy. So let's go ahead and give this a, give this a taste. Cheers. Wow, really nice, mild, it's sweet. Uh, in the middle of the swallow, that's when I start really picking up the coffee. And as I swallow, I still get like kind of aftertaste of coffee, but it also tastes really kind of sweet on the tail end. Yeah, 
Yeah, it just has a really nice taste to it. A really nice kind of espresso coffee. There's a tiny like astringency coffee taste to it. So a little bit of that coffee bitterness, but at the front forefront, it's super sweet. It's really kind of even sweetness though. It's not overpoweringly sweet. It's just got a really nice level kind of sweetness to it. And then the swallow, you get that like coffee astringency, which the coffee's kind of cycling through the whole taste. And then on the aftertaste, you can taste the coffee too. And I can't tell if it's me talking and I can smell coffee from my breath or if I can smell this. So that's, it's got a, it's got a beautiful coffee scent to it. Wow. Yeah, I really, really like this. I, I, I was excited to try it. And with some kind of beers, you know, you get really excited to try it and then you try it and it's like, well, that was okay. But this is actually, um, I'm getting a lot of what I thought it would be. I didn't, uh, out of smelling it, I expected it to be a lot really like in your face, blow up like <laughs> coffee kind of taste and, and everything with the scent being so strong. But the coffee is, is subtle, it's there. You can definitely taste it, but it's not overpoweringly. It's not like drinking coffee grounds, but it's got a good coffee taste nonetheless. It reminds me kind of almost as like a, a, an iced coffee kind of taste. It's a little bit sweeter than a straight up black iced coffee. And it's a little bit thicker than that, but not too much. I mean, it's not an 8.1% is hidden in this very well. I could see this being very dangerous because I would want to drink very many of these and I would probably get very drunk. So, um, yeah, I mean... If you like browns, if you like coffee beer, like coffee stouts or coffee porters, you really owe it to yourself to try Electron Brown because it has that really nice balanced coffee flavor, but you also get that sweet kind of mild taste of a brown in there as well. It's just a really nicely balanced beer and I am really glad. I don't know if I've said this or you could probably count, but I'm really glad that they decided to distribute this again, or at least distribute it this year. They didn't distribute it last year, but I'm glad they decided to distribute it this year because I really didn't want to have to figure out a time that I could get to Williamston to pick this up, but it's, it's a beautiful beer. It's a beautiful brown if you like browns. And browns, like I said, they're really underserved in the craft beer community right now. I think a lot of people think of browns as being like Babby's first, you know, homebrew or whatever. The, when I did homebrew, the first thing I homebrewed was a brown. So uh, I think that people think, it, think of it as being a, sim, a simple style that isn't, can't be very complex, but Electron Brown here from Old Nation definitely Definitely proves the point that you can have a very complex tasting brown. All right, friends, that has been Electron Brown from Old Nation. If you end up going to the tap room to try Electron Brown, let them know you saw their beer right here. Tis the season of sharing. So have you had Electron Brown and what did you think? Have you had, had any of Old Nation's non-IPA beers? Let me know what you thought about them in the comments down below. And while you're down there, why not like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm here talking Michigan beer twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. And the best part about it is, it can't get any better than this. It's absolutely free to viewers just like you. You can also find links to my social media, some merch, a custom Tiku glass, links to all the gear I use in these videos, and a link to my blog at drafttherapy.com. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. And remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries, and most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers.